Nikola Tesla was no ordinary man, and his story isn't some dry recital of dates and diagrams. It's an opera of genius and sabotage, of hope and betrayal, fit for the pages of myth. Born in 1856 to a Serbian family of warriors and priests, Tesla grew up in a world teetering between the ancient and the modern. His father was a man of the cloth, his uncle's heroes on the battlefield. But Tesla? He was a battlefield all his own, a mind haunted by visions that weren't of this earth. He was an extremely sensitive soul, but in the trenches of modern science they called him a lunatic, and maybe he was. But lunacy like his carved the very bones of the modern world. He was educated in Graz, then Budapest, and later he roamed the halls of Europe's finest universities. But what he found in those hallowed places wasn't inspiration, it was despair. The professors, smug in their new dogmas, prattled about a universe that was cold, inert and soulless. Nature wasn't alive, they said. It was a dead machine. Tesla didn't buy it, not for a second. He was a romantic in a world of cynics. He wasn't looking for facts, he was chasing the soul of creation. Tesla wasn't cut from the cloth of his time. While the academics bowed to a rising quantitative regime, Tesla stood apart, a rebel driven by inner fire. This wasn't just a difference of opinion, it was war. Tesla, guided by razor-sharp intuition, refused to kneel. In the suffocating halls of the university, Tesla was more a heretic than a student. His instructors dismissed him as unfit for academia, a misfit too curious for their rigid dogma. They wanted conformity, Tesla wanted truth. Tesla's defiance didn't go unnoticed. His questions sharp, probing, relentless earned him the ire of his professors. They had more rebukes than answers. It was a stifling environment, more like a military academy than a haven for discovery. But Tesla was no foot soldier. While the university sought to hammer his spirit flat, he found an unlikely ally in the works of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Goethe, long celebrated as a poet, was also a fierce critic of the nascent reductionist science. In his forgotten volumes on natural philosophy, Tesla discovered a kindred spirit. Goethe had seen the danger in stripping nature of its soul, and Tesla, reading these texts with the fervor of a prophet uncovering divine scripture, found validation for his instincts. This qualitative vision of the world became Tesla's compass, guiding him to forge a new path in science. Electricity, the new magic, called to Tesla like a siren. While his classmates plodded through lectures, Tesla devoured electrical engineering with an intensity that left his professors in the dust. By the time he landed a technical position in Budapest, Tesla was consumed by one obsession, alternating current. The problem was deemed impossible by others, but Tesla didn't see failure as an option. To him, it was a puzzle, a challenge issued by nature itself. And so began Tesla's odyssey, not as a student following prescribed formulas, but as a visionary driven by an unshakable faith in the unseen forces that shape the world. By 1881, his mind burned with the need to create, to crack open the mysteries of alternating current and bend them to his will. 
He didn't just want to make a name for himself, he wanted independence, a laboratory to call his own where he could let his brilliance run wild without interference. But the price of genius is steep, and for Tesla, it nearly cost him his sanity. The constant mental strain, the relentless drive to innovate, pushed him to the edge. Strange maladies racked his body, sensitivities so extreme they baffled doctors. Where others would have broken, he adapted. He learned to channel these abilities to turn his affliction into an asset. The breakthrough came one fateful afternoon in 1881. Tesla was strolling through a park with friends, his mind restless as always. Moved by the moment, he recited a verse from Goethe's Faust, his voice trembling with emotion. As the final words escaped his lips, it hit him, a vision unlike any he had ever experienced. See my motor here, watch me reverse it. Tesla was locked in the throes of inspiration. When the vision faded, Tesla emerged transformed, his mind brimming with clarity. That evening, Tesla celebrated as if he'd conquered the world. He shared his revelation with his friends, describing the motor that would revolutionize the planet. They talked late into the night, basking in the glow of his inspiration, knowing they had experienced a moment in time that would shape the future forever. Tesla's journey was just beginning. By the time he landed in Strasbourg, working for a Continental Edison subsidiary, Tesla had already constructed the unthinkable, the world's first brushless motors. He called them magnetic vortex motors. And they didn't just hum, they roared with brilliance. Whirling magnetic fields replaced the clunky, spark-spewing brushes of the time, leaving traditional engineers baffled. Tesla's professors, who once dismissed him as a misfit, now pored over his designs like students at the feet of a master. These weren't just machines, they were manifestations of his vision. Using his drafting skills, Tesla mapped out what would become the foundation of modern electrical distribution, the polyphase system. Tesla knew where his destiny lay, America. With his portfolio bursting with blueprints and ideas, he arrived with the hope of turning his dreams into reality. He briefly worked for Thomas Edison in New Jersey, but their partnership was a clash of old world pragmatism versus new world genius. His first independent project, a series of arc lamps and lighting systems, was a technical success, but a financial disaster. His backers betrayed him, leaving him penniless. Reduced to digging ditches alongside other immigrants, Tesla experienced the brutal realities of the American dream. But even in the dirt, Tesla never stopped talking about his polyphase system. His relentless persistence paid off, catching the attention of new investors who saw his potential. This time Tesla demanded control, his own lab, his own machine shop, and a cut of the profits up front. It was a gamble that paid off big. What emerged wasn't just a system, it was a revolution. Tesla didn't invent alternating current, he reinvented it. His polyphase system blended three synchronized but staggered currents, creating a continuous, efficient flow of energy. Like pistons on a crankshaft, these pushes solved the problem that had stumped engineers for years, how to make alternating current motors turn. The result? Smooth brushless motors, brilliant lighting, and the ability to transmit power across vast distances. Tesla's genius didn't just light up cities, it lit the path to the future. Tesla wasn't content with good enough, he wanted perfection. Direct current was Edison's flawed legacy, a system that sputtered and died after just a few city blocks. Tesla's alternating current was a game changer, vibrating through the lines instead of flowing like a lazy stream. With AC, distance was no barrier and power didn't simply vanish. But Tesla didn't stop there, he pushed deeper into uncharted territory, seeking even greater efficiency in the polyphase system. His experiments led him to higher frequency alternating currents, a world of untapped potential. These weren't your typical 60 cycle currents. Tesla cranked up the frequencies to thousands of cycles per second. At 30,000 Hertz, his new generators were nothing short of miraculous, capturing the awe of academics and engineers alike. Tesla's high frequency systems weren't just efficient, they were safe a revolutionary idea for the time. 
He discovered that these currents didn't penetrate the human body, but instead skittered harmlessly across the surface. Sparks hissed and danced along wires, illuminating low-pressure gas bulbs and spinning tiny pinwheels in mesmerizing displays of light and motion. For Tesla, these effects weren't just fascinating. They hinted at future technologies that even he couldn't fully grasp. Safety was Tesla's obsession. Every component of his high-frequency polyphase system underwent rigorous testing to ensure it was harmless to operators and consumers alike. Tesla's vision wasn't just about power, it was about responsibility. He didn't want to simply light the world, he wanted to do it without risking lives. But Tesla's journey with alternating currents came to an unexpected halt. During a series of experiments, something extraordinary happened, an accident that shook his understanding of electricity and technology to its core. Details of this incident are scarce, almost deliberately shrouded, but the impact on Tesla was profound. Whatever he witnessed in that lab forever changed the way he viewed his work. Tesla's brilliance had carried him to the heights of fame and fortune, but this revelation marked a turning point. It wasn't just about systems or generators anymore. Tesla had glimpsed something deeper, something that promised to upend everything he thought he knew about energy and the universe. From that moment on, his focus shifted, driven by an insatiable curiosity for the mysteries he had yet to unravel.